Google Classroom and Kami combine to make assessments faster to create and differentiate, and more accessible for everyone. Let me show you how. First things first, make sure you have the Kami extension installed and your administrator has enabled the Google Classroom integration. Now, let's get started with a Kami assessment. Here's something I prepared earlier. You'll see I've used Questions AI to instantly create an auto grading assessment. If you want to know how to do this, check out our Questions AI tutorial. I've also used Kami tools to add some scaffolds and some supports for my students here on the right. Once you're happy with your assessment, sharing couldn't be easier. Click the big purple share button on the top bar and the sharing menu pops up. Click create assignment and fill out all the relevant fields. You can see the Kami assessment is already attached and the sharing permissions are set to make a copy for each student. You can change this as needed, but I'm gonna keep it as is. On the right, you'll find feature controls, which lets you choose which Kami tools students will have access to. There are also additional supports that we can put in place for students here. I'm gonna turn off copy and paste for this one. Click Assign, and it's off to students, without even leaving the app. Next, let's look at how easy it is for students to complete the assignment. Students simply select Open with Kami. I didn't set any limitations using Feature Control, so all the Kami tools are here on the left. This gives students voice and choice when completing their work. As a student, I'll answer some of the multiple choice questions and a short answer question. When students are done, it's another simple click of the big purple button, which is now the Turn In button for students. They'll never have to go back to Google Classroom to turn their work in. Now the really cool stuff happens. While my students are working on their assignment, I can use ClassView to monitor their work in real time. By going back into the assignment from the dashboard, I can see all students' work on one screen, making it easier than ever to provide personalized feedback and support. Each of my students' work is organized in columns, with pages displayed in rows. At the top of each column are the students' names, assignment status, and a space to enter grades. Now, because I use Questions AI, all of the grading has been done automatically for me. You can manually change the grades and provide any additional feedback or encouragement with the Kami tools. Also, because I did an auto-grading assessment, I can use Answers View. You can see that a lot of the class is struggling with question two, so I'm gonna go up to the right-hand side and switch to update all student copies. I'll add a link and a voice comment for extra support. Hey class, a lot of you seem to be getting confused about the second question. Please use the link below for more information. You'll see that Kami adapts to what you are doing to make everything super easy. Now, the big purple button has become update all. So I'll click that and every student's document has been automatically updated in real time. None of their work will be lost or changed. To get back to class view, you just switch back in the top bar and here we are. To return assignments, you can do this individually here, but I'm gonna use that lovely purple button that is now return all. Clicking this will do exactly that. Return all assignments and all grades will auto sync with Google Classroom. For even deeper insights into student and class performance, you can click the Insights button. Here we see key metrics, including the top, median, and lowest scores. And that's it. Accessible, differentiated, and faster assessments thanks to Kami and Google Classroom. What are you going to do with the time you save? <laughs>